What do millennials want in a car? One question car manufacturers have been asking themselves since the word millennial was coined, I guess. Is it more space, more features, more power, or more value for money? I think Queen might have answered this on behalf of the millennials. The Sonnet needs no introduction, honestly. Ever since its launch on September 18th, the Sonnet has had social networks buzzing. Looking at how stylish the Sonnet is, that is hardly a surprise. Kia's signature tiger nose grille is flanked by a pair of bright LED headlamps with LED DRLs. The SUV look is complete up front with a pair of wide set fog lamps and the skid plate. The profile is a bit more rounded than I would have liked, but the swept back C pillar with the blacked out treatment is quite stylish. Compared to the front, the Sonnet's rear is a little plain with its all-LED tail lamps and chrome garnish. For a sub-4-meter SUV, Kia has done a great job on the design. On the inside is where Kia has hit it out of the park, not just compared to its current competition, but even cars a segment higher. It is almost like a mini Seltos on the inside, with the 10.25-inch touchscreen dominating the textured dashboard. As expected from Kia, the Sonnet is loaded to the gills and not just with staple fare like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. There is a fantastic sounding 7-speaker Bose audio system, ventilated front seats, wireless charging, a sunroof and an air purifier. Just what you need in Delhi with the winter approaching. Just like its target audience, the Sonnet is always connected, courtesy Kia's Uvo app. Voice commands let you talk to the car and operate the aircon, the windows and some more. The Sonnet also gets up to six airbags, ABS, ESC, front and rear parking sensors. If the features and the interiors are meant to spoil you, the choice of engines and transmissions on the Sonnet take it to another level. And what we have here today is the 1 litre turbo petrol DCT, which makes 120 horsepower and 172 Newton meters of torque. Not bad from a three cylinder motor, right? The Sonnet feels very refined for a three cylinder motor, and unless you have a very keen ear, you may not notice the typical three cylinder thrum. The engine is punchy, and I found it fun to drive. My biggest and only complaint till now is the lack of paddle shifters. It seems like an oversight to have not added them to such a fully loaded car. The enthusiasts can shift gears manually or if you're lazy to do so, just choose the sport mode. The Sonnet comes with three driving modes, Eco, Normal and Sport. There are three terrain modes to choose from as well but I doubt you'd be needing any of them while driving in the city. I think Kia's done a fantastic job of answering the question we started with. What do millennials want in a car? Except a slightly cramped back seat, the Sonnet does have it all. It is stylish, loaded with features, fun to drive, Frankly, it is hard to fault the Sonnet. With almost 35,000 bookings in the first month of its launch, Kia could well end up singing their way to the top of sales charts.